Which drugs ease rheumatoid arthritis pain? There are many medications you and your doctor could consider using to treat your RA pain. The main type are NSAIDs, which stands for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. They manage pain, swelling, and stiffness. NSAIDs include, Selecoxib, Celebrex, Diclofenac, Cataflam, Voltaren, Etidolac, Laudine. Ibuprofen, Advil, Motrin, Indomethacin, Indusin, Meloxicam, Mobic, Naproxen, Aleve, Naproxen. NSAIDs have been linked to increased risk of heart attack and stroke, particularly in higher doses. Another drawback is that these drugs can upset your stomach or cause ulcers or bleeding in the stomach or intestines. Selecoxib is less likely to cause ulcers and stomach or intestinal bleeding. If you have kidney failure or heart failure, your doctor will keep a close watch on how you're doing if you take NSAIDs. Acetaminophen, this is in many prescription and over-the-counter medicines, including Tylenol. When taken as directed, it has few side effects in most people. One exception is people with liver disease, who can take acetaminophen only if their doctor watches their health closely. Corticosteroids, these are often called steroids. They're powerful drugs that tame inflammation. They're different from anabolic steroids that build up muscles. For RA, their benefit is that they suppress the overactive immune system, which curbs symptoms. Corticosteroids act throughout the body, not just on the immune system so they're best used for a short time to control flares. This helps you avoid their side effects. If you have severe rheumatoid arthritis, you may need to take steroids for a long time. Your doctor will watch out for potential side effects, such as being more likely to get an infection, higher blood sugar, or bone thinning. Corticosteroids can sometimes be injected directly into joints affected by RA. This is a good way to get the benefits of the drug with fewer side effects. NSAIDs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are commonly used to treat rheumatoid arthritis. They help manage the chronic pain, inflammation, and swelling that are characteristic of RA. They do not slow down the disease. Most people with RA also take other types of medications, such as methotrexate or biologics, to help prevent further joint damage. How do NSAIDs work? They block your body's COX enzymes. This cuts down on inflammation and reduces pain and stiffness. What are some NSAIDs used for rheumatoid arthritis? These include, aspirin, bufferin, Bayer, selecoxib, celebrex, diclofenac, cataflam, voltaren, diflunisil, dolabid, etidolac, laudine. Phenoprofen, Nalfen, Fluorbiprofen, Ansed, Ibuprofen, Advil, Motrin, Indomethacin, Indusin, Ketoprofen, Oravale, Orides, Ketorolac, Toradol, Meloxicam, Mobic, Nabumetone, Rilofen, Naproxen, Aleve, Anaprox, Naprilin, Naprosin, Oxaprosin, Depro, Pyroxicam, Feldine, Salsalate, Amagesic, Sulindac, Clineral, Tolmedin, Tolectin. Arthrotec is an NSAID that combines diclofenac with another active ingredient, mesoprostol, that helps prevent stomach irritation. Pravacid Napropac combines naproxen with the acid blocker Pravacid to lower your chances of getting stomach ulcers. Vimuvo is a combination of naproxen and the acid blocker Nexium. Do all NSAIDs raise the risk of heart attack and stroke? All prescription NSAIDs are linked to a higher risk of heart attack and stroke. They carry a warning about that. While the actual risk of a heart attack and stroke with NSAIDs is unknown, medical studies are in progress to help find that answer. 
the risk is likely greatest for people who have heart disease risk factors, such as high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, and smoking. You and your doctor can weigh the risks and benefits. What are the side effects? The most common ones include, stomach problems, including pain, constipation, diarrhea, gas, nausea, and stomach ulcers. Kidney problems. Anemia. Dizziness. Swelling in the legs. Abnormal liver tests, blood tests. Headaches. Easy bruising. Ringing in the ears. Rash. NSAIDs may also raise blood pressure. If you have high BP, keep a close eye on your blood pressure. Let your doctor know if it goes up. Most people take these meds with few to no side effects, though. The chance of getting an ulcer or stomach bleeding rises even more if you also take corticosteroids, often called steroids, for RA or blood thinners, or anticoagulants. Also, the longer you use NSAIDs, the greater the risk of stomach bleeding and ulcers. Older adults, especially those who are over age 65, are more likely to get stomach bleeding and ulcers, as do those who drink alcohol and smoke cigarettes. If you take NSAIDs to ease the inflammation, pain, and stiffness of RA, talk with your doctor about ways to protect your stomach. If you're at high risk for stomach bleeding, you may need a strong stomach acid blocker to help prevent ulcers. Can I take NSAIDs if I have high blood pressure? Your doctor will check on that. NSAIDs can reduce blood flow to the kidneys, which may cause these organs not to work as well. This makes fluid build up in your body, which can raise your blood pressure. So, if you take these meds, you will probably get a blood test from time to time to check how well your kidneys work. Can I be allergic to NSAIDs? They can cause allergies. Some people with asthma are sensitive to some NSAIDs. The drugs may worsen breathing, and many specialists recommend that people who have asthma not take certain NSAIDs. The risk may be greater in people with sinus problems or nasal polyps. If you have asthma, make sure your arthritis doctor knows. Some NSAIDs may be safer for you. Are there special precautions for using these meds for RA? Use NSAIDs with caution if you have kidney or liver disease, heart failure, high blood pressure, diabetes, lupus, asthma, or ulcers. Tell your doctor about all drugs and supplements you take. NSAIDs may interact with blood thinners, cyclosporin, lithium, or methotrexate. Let your doctor know if you're sensitive to aspirin.